This fall has been a rather interesting period of new game releases in that I honestly think it's been one of the weaker fall seasons in recent memory. Maybe it's because a couple of games like Doom Eternal have gone delayed. Maybe it's because the heavy hitters like The Last of Us Part 2, Cyberpunk 2077, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, and now Doom Eternal as well. All of those games are being saved for early 2020, whatever the case may be. It has really opened up an opportunity for a lot of these games this fall season to surprise a lot of people and stand out as these marquee titles and one game heading into the season that I thought when it was initially announced would be a marquee title was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and it has just gotten up and down up and down in terms of my excitement level and let me explain why initially when the game was revealed and it was announced that Respawn Entertainment the guys that did Titanfall 2 Apex Legend and a very talented studio is working on a single-player Star Wars game I was very excited especially because a single-player Star Wars game is something that I really wanted. EA had been focused on Star Wars Battlefront, which is a gigantic debacle that we'll get into for a second, but that was multiplayer heavy, and I wanted something single-player and narrative-oriented, and I really thought that Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order could be that. Also, as I mentioned, Star Wars Battlefront had been a little bit of a train wreck. You know, saying it had been a little bit of a train wreck is probably putting it a little lightly. Star Wars Battlefront is just crazy to me what happened with that game. When I talk about the game, I'll often refer it to as the ultimate opportunity of EA being handed a license to print money. It was, to me, impossible how you could ruin Star Wars Battlefront, given that the anticipation for that game, Star Wars Battlefront 1, heading into its release, was so high. You guys, if you weren't around when Star Wars Battlefront was first announced, when that trailer dropped, people lost their mind, and then Star Wars Battlefront came out. I believe it sold relatively well, but that game did not enamor people all too well. Then you followed it up with Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Battlefront 2 ultimately did turn out to be a very good game, but EA butchered it from a promotional standpoint and the damage had been done to that game. The long-term ramifications have been put in place and Battlefront as a whole is just very difficult to recover at this point. Is it recoverable? Absolutely. If a Final Fantasy XIV could be recovered, you're kidding me if you don't think that Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Battlefront as a franchise can be recovered. However, at this point, it's definitely in a downswing. So when Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was announced and it was something completely different, it offered something unique, fresh. Yes, it's still an EA published Star Wars title, which is gonna you know, just inherently have a little bit of skepticism, but it's a narrative-driven title. It's by a new studio in Respawn, and it's their foray into something different. I was very excited, and then we got the gameplay, and I have to say, the initial gameplay drop for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was just very underwhelming. I don't really know what to say about it. Rather than it was just bland, I mean, did it look bad? No, but a big-budget single-player Star Wars game, the first one in a very long time, and the gameplay we initially saw was just so underwhelming, nothing out of the ordinary, and it made it look more like an Uncharted game rather than Star Wars, and it just left me scratching my head, and I know for a lot of you guys, you came out thinking the same thing, you were like, what the hell is up with Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, what is the gameplay we just watched, and this was months ago, mind you, but even it being four or five months ago, you're talking about gameplay that should have been reflective of the final product, because the product is just, what, a couple weeks away at this point, just a little under a month away? So the gameplay that we saw back in June should have been reflective of the final gameplay, but it really wasn't, and it wasn't the type of gameplay that enamored people, it wasn't the type of gameplay that got gamers invested and got people really excited for Jedi Fallen Order, rather it pushed a lot of people away and really just increased the skepticism, and the notion had almost shifted from that idea of, okay, this is something new, Respawn is doing a single player Star Wars game, this isn't Battlefront, and then after that gameplay came out, now this just might be anecdotal based on what I saw, but the perception of the game really had shifted from this is something new to oh this is an EA Star Wars game I'm really skeptical I'm not buying this on day one whatever the case may be it just seemed like the anticipation level for Jedi Fallen Order was quickly diminishing, and that was so unfortunate to see, because if Jedi Fallen Order is bad, chalk it up to Star Wars just being a gigantic flop from an EA standpoint. I don't know if you guys understand, maybe you guys don't realize the ramifications of the release of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, but it extends far beyond just a singular Star Wars game release, or a singular big budget game release of the fall. No, this has ramifications to the entirety of Star Wars. After Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2 had pretty negative receptions, you can make 
week, you know, your reasoning as to why with Battlefront 1 just not having a lot of content, with the promotion and marketing of that game being absolutely butchered, whatever the case may be, the story is in place that those games were just not very well received. And almost unfair to respawn, they had this unnecessary pressure latched upon them because of it's now up to them to redeem Star Wars from a gaming standpoint. And then after the gameplay we saw, I was like, man, I don't really know what to make of it. But then again, the story really started to shift just a few days ago when the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order massive previews went out from various outlets. I'll link the Easy Allies video and their hands-on preview, and I'll link the IGN preview that Brian Altano did. He did a really good job, and his preview is super in-depth, and I highly recommend you guys to read up on that because that'll probably get you really excited for the game. And I want to note to you some things that Brian Altano specifically noted in his IGN preview. Quote, Fallen Order seems to understand that Star Wars is more than just intergalactic saving Private Ryan with sword fights or Top Gun in space. Star Wars is about mystery and discovery, about ancient religions, magical superpowers, and exotic worlds. I found that in spades while exploring this game, there are marshy planets to dock your ship on where you can step outside in the sun and swing your saber around while burrowing aliens pop in and out of sinkholes like scruffy mirk rats. I plundered the depths of secret tombs, battle toothy tunnel rats, and buff mountain goat-like creatures, plus the occasional large, gross-looking, four-armed mini-boss charging towards me. Then I decapitated him with my mighty lightsaber and had my droid scan his arm so I can read up on his lore later on in my databank. You know, weird-ass Star Wars stuff. It's a video game that seems to understand those parts of the universe really well. You don't start the game as a crazy, overpowered Jedi, but rather a wide-eyed, eager student of the Force, picking up new skills and experiences on your adventure. That journey is earnest and welcome and full of discovery, and I can already tell that becoming a Jedi and subsequently using all of my newly found skills to open up the world more is going to be a really magical experience. Now, maybe this gives us an idea of why the gameplay initially that we saw was a little bit bland. It if it's early content and you just start off as a regular human and not this overpowered Jedi, then I can understand why the earlier portion of the game might be geared towards more exploration, might be geared towards more world building, story building, narrative building, things like that which are very important to the game. However, I just think showcasing that content as a part of your promotional tool and your big promotional push is not a very good idea, that's just my two cents. And I think that's why the perception of this game may have shifted a little bit back in June when the gameplay did drop. But outside of that, we've also gotten a significant amount of gameplay for the title and new gameplay at that. And it really showcases that this game is heavy on the action and there are action-oriented elements to the game. Of course there were gonna be. It's a single-player Star Wars game and it looks very good. If you want to assess it from a visual standpoint, the depth of its gameplay, it looks like there's a lot of depth and it looks very, very compelling from a gameplay standpoint as well. But couple that with the exploration elements we also saw, I think that could come together and provide a very high quality experience. And while I wouldn't say that Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is a big open world game, this is a game that isn't just a typical linear game. It's much bigger and a deeper game than the majority of people expected. And there is going to be that level of exploration. There is going to be that additional content. There is going to be a level of investment as well. It's not just point A to point B all the time. And there's going to be characters to get attached to. There's going to be exploration to be done. And just to give you guys a background of the plot before we round out this video, it said a few years after Revenge of the Sith, one of the last surviving Jedi Padawan, Cal Kestis, has so far escaped the galaxy-wide purge of the Jedi Order, started by Order 66, and is on the run from the Galactic Empire. After attempting to salvage a Venator-class Star Destroyer above a pit, an accident happens in which Cal has to openly use the Force to save one of his friends from falling into the pit, which is witnessed by a nearby Imperial probe droid. The droid transmits the footage to the Empire, causing Cal's true identity to be revealed to the Imperials. The Empire dispatches the second sister, an Inquisitor trained by Darth Vader to hunt down the Padawan and eradicate the remaining Jedi Knights. So from a story standpoint and how it gets going, nothing really out of the world, but do expect there to be a level of depth to the narrative that you can sink your teeth into, that there is a lot of lore attached to it because there's a data bank in the game after all, and there's going to be a lot of reading if you want to get even more invested into the world and really understand everything. But my faith has really been revived in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Just like that for me, the game has been turned around and I think for a lot of other people, if you look into the previews that IGN and Easy Allies did, and if you look into the gameplay that has been put out, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order suddenly looks to be one of the most compelling upcoming games for the rest of the year. I know at this point there isn't a lot of competition, but with games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Outer Worlds, Death Stranding, and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order still yet to come, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has quickly become one of my most anticipated games for the rest of the year. Probably number two right behind Death Stranding, and a little while ago, I wouldn't have put it that high up there. I probably would have comfortably put 
put it behind the Outer Worlds, and I'm still very much excited for the Outer Worlds, but it's a Star Wars game. It's a single-player one. I wanted a single-player Star Wars game, a narrative-driven one. The action looks great. The gameplay looks great. The story looks like it's going to have a lot of content to it, and Respawn is an incredibly talented studio, and I really hope this time around that they can showcase their talent without being hampered by the release of Battlefield 1 right by Titanfall 2. I hope that Star Wars games are redeemed with the release of Jedi Fallen Order because the amount of pressure on Respawn to deliver a quality product is ridiculous right now, and it's really not because of them. They got screwed over with the release of Titanfall 2, having that game coming out around the time of so many other quality first-person shooters, and also, it's not their fault that Star Wars from a video game sense has been very, very underwhelming. That's more so on EA. For them, it's really up to them, however, to deliver something of quality with Jedi Fallen Order, and we'll see how it turns out come November 15th. That's gonna conclude this video. Let me know all of your guys' thoughts. Did you always have faith in Jedi Fallen Order for it to turn out to be a great game, or has your faith been restored, or are you still skeptical of the game? Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.